so you guys in this video i'm making ogbono soup and i'm also making fried rice so it's two things that are very opposite <laughs> but yeah we move yeah, i have my pepper blend i just have onion and scotch bonnet pepper here i have salt green peas sweet corn um this is um broth that i'll be using for fried rice i have bitter leaf at the back there i have my you know vegetables i have carrots and liver for the fried rice and yeah the vegetables are for the fried rice as well here i have smoked turkey and gizzard for the soup i have shaki for the soup i have ogbono and diced onion i usually do my ogbono this way so i mix ogbono onion and oil together then i pour into my pot i have okoro here i also have ground gray fish here i have fish so like stock fish dry fish all of that good stuff i have goat meat and beef i have shrimp here and finally i have my rice so i'm just gonna get started and you guys will see everything that i get up to oh i forgot to mention i have my maggi i already crushed it so it's gonna be there um so yeah i think those are the main ingredients that i'll use and of course i have my spices here so yeah let's get started so i have some okra that i'll be adding to the ogbono soup and i'm just wondering if i'm the new person that adds okra to ogbono i feel like it's now a habit and now i almost can't eat ogbono without okra but yeah anyways i'm just going to be adding okra and it's this color because i blended it with crayfish some pepper and um stock and um yeah we also have some spinach so in this pot i'm just adding stock to the rice because that's what i'll be using to parboil my rice and once i'm done i'm going to continue with the ogbono so in the other pot i just have stock boiling and once it boils i'm just going to add in my ingredients for my ogbono and you see how i make it it's very easy you know once you have all your ingredients prepped i find cooking you know, very easy so i just added the onion the fish and then i'm going to add the oporo you know like just everything that i have and let it boil I told you I had ground crayfish, right? That's what I'm adding right now. Once I'm done with that, I would add my shaki and, you know, I'll just let everything boil. I found out I had two kinds of shaki, so I shall just put all, like, see, there's nothing, like, too much meat, Abby. <laughs> Anyways, I added everything and then I let it boil. Once it was done boiling, I added my pepper. I told you I had the scotch bonnet pepper blend, right? Yeah. So I added pepper and along the cooking process, I added some more pepper because it wasn't as spicy as I wanted it to be. So, yeah, as you cook, you know, just taste for your seasoning. Check that everything tastes good you know that's what i always do when i cook anyways after the pepper i added my you know smoked turkey and gizzard and next i added the shrimp i didn't use all the shrimp in this place because i kept some for fried rice like i already mentioned so yeah after that i added the meat and then i'm just gonna let it boil and yeah so while I'm waiting for everything to boil, I'm just going to add oil to the ogbono and onion and just give it a very good stir. And yeah, once everything is boiling, I'll add it to the pot. You can do this if you're scared of adding too much ogbono rice. So instead of adding so much at once, you can start small. And if you feel like you need to add more, yeah, go ahead to add. But I'm not going to be using so much ogbono because I'm adding okra like I already mentioned. Um, so yeah, definitely keep on watching. did you forget about our rice already <laughs> anyways i just can check up on the rice and see that it's cooking well and it's not burning and then i added some curry i didn't want to add a lot of curry so yeah i just added a little and we're back to our ogbono so it's boiling as you can see so i'm just gonna go ahead and add the ogbono onion and oil and then i'll just taste to ensure that everything tastes good because this is where you can you know make any adjustments that you need to make so yeah i also tasted and realized it wasn't as spicy as i wanted it to be so i added more pepper and then i'll also be adding in my okra and and you know of course you want to taste again that everything tastes good and then i'll just go ahead to add the bitter leaf and the spinach and your soup is done at this stage honestly see ogbono is very easy to make So in here, I just have scotch bonnet pepper, crayfish, and onion, and I just add it towards the end of my cooking process just for extra flavor, right? But everybody has their method of cooking, and as long as your food tastes good, I feel like that's all that matters, right? <laughs> Anyways, I'm adding the remaining meat and giving everything a good stir, adding my vegetables, and your soup is good to go. You guys, bring your plate, bring your plate, let me share. <laughs>
So while we're admiring this beauty in front of us, I'm just going to quickly mention that I don't cook soup every time I meal prep. There are some times that I just do rice, there are other times that I do something else, maybe moi moi or beans, right? But on this particular day, I was making soup and I was also making rice because that's what we're having that week. I also just felt like I hadn't had ogono in so long and so ogono was the soup I wanted to cook. But yeah, whenever we cook soup, we usually cook a big pot and, you know, share it into, you know, smaller bowls and then we freeze. And then whenever we feel like we want to eat swallow, we just bring out one plate you know warm it and then you know we get to eat our swallow right anyways we are done with the soup we're just going to continue cooking our rice the rice is already done so i'm just going to fry all the ingredients i'll be using for my fried rice i decided to fry them you know like individually <laughs> So yeah, I'm just going to fry that and then I'll give it a very good stir. I would season it as well. While cooking the rice, I didn't add anything except the curry as you guys saw. But of course, the stock I used had some seasoning in it, right? Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, I'm just going to be adding seasoning as we cook. And of course, I always taste as I go because my food has to make sense. Like, <laughs> I can't go out for people's hand now, you know. This video is somehow turning into a recipe video, but we move. <laughs> Anyways, I did the onions first and then I went in with carrots because I feel like carrots are harder and so I just felt it was the next thing to make. And then the bell peppers, then the green peas and sweet corn. And then I added everything to the liver and the shrimp that I already cooked first. And then I'll just start seasoning it and then I'll start frying the rice. I did the rice in batches because I ended up cooking a very big pot of rice and I didn't want to make, you know, two in the name of fried rice. You understand? <laughs> so i did it in batches so my rice is not soggy um but yeah you guys can you believe i forgot to add hot dogs like i was looking at this thing and i'm like something is missing i couldn't just place a finger on it but my sister was around and she was like where are your hot dogs i'm like oh yeah i'm missing that so i ended up doing that i told you that those children always appear when there's food right yeah they came by <laughs> anyways we ended up adding the hot dogs and yeah so at this stage it's time for seasoning and you don't even need so much i used salt maggi italian seasoning and curry and yeah that's all i used and this food came out really really good So the next thing to do is to mix your rice with your vegetables and I decided to do mine in batches. Um, so yeah, feel free to use this method or you can just do it all at once if you prefer. Um, but yeah, everybody has their method of cooking and this is how I prefer to do mine, especially when I make a very big pot. Again, as I cook, I taste for seasoning to ensure that everything tastes good and I adjust when necessary. Anyways, I ended up, you know, doing everything in batches until I was done and then I poured everything back into the pot and mixed it together. So after doing everything in batches, I poured it all into one pot and tried to mix it as much as I could. And then I went ahead to dish it out. But you guys, our fried rice is done. Like, we're done, done, done. <laughs> So I'm done dishing out our lunch for the week. I mean, the fact that I cook this doesn't mean we must take this to work every day of the week for lunch. But most times that's what happens. Um, but yeah, it also depends on how we feel. If we feel like we want to have something else, then, you know, we would eat something else. Anyways, that's all I dished out. And this is what we have left in the pot. I'm just going to put this in a bigger bowl so we can have it if we feel like having it for dinner or, you know, any other time. Plus, my sisters are going to take from there. <laughs> Anyways, we're just going to start dishing out the soup as well. And I will come back when I'm done.
So I'm finally done and I also made some food for Emmy. So I made pound for him but he wasn't ready to eat so I just put it in a cooler bag for him till he was ready and I already dished out the soup. Um, but yeah this is everything guys and I feel so happy just seeing everything. <laughs> Anyways I have soup for the next few weeks. I got six plates right so yeah I feel like that's just enough for me. <laughs> so I'll be putting the soup in the freezer and I'll put this other big one in the fridge. So that's what we're gonna start with while the other ones go in the freezer and we can just bring out whenever we want to eat and of course our fried rice that will be taken to work for lunch there's wrap in the house for shawarma so you know if you know we feel like having that we would eat that there's rice we have soup we have bread we have cereal we have noodles for indomie like you guys there are a whole lot of options and any day it's not just working like we'll order out <laughs> so guys i'm finally finally done it's been a long day I see somebody at the back and there's another person in front do you want to say hi So this is, these are the two musketeers that are fetching in my house. Like, eat. see, and that's all it. they do. They come to steal food. Come to eat. Period. It's okay. I forgive you. <laughs> <laughs> Anywho, we're finally done, oh, guys. As I'm here like this, I'm thinking of eating pound That's why I'm like count down because I'm going to a party, right? But what is on my mind or what I really want to eat is swallow like pound and obono. But I'm done. I just want to show you guys what I do, how I meal prep. I feel like I don't really even just make it like a recipe video <laughs> because I feel like I did a lot of step by step for you guys. So we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Anyways, anyways, thank you so much for watching. I'm gonna go get ready and we'll go to the party. I think that will be the end of this video. Thank you so so much for coming along with me. I really appreciate you guys. I will see you in my next video. But until then, stay, stay safe and stay blessed. Bye. <laughs>